T'Challa had a much smaller role in the earlier drafts and did not even appear in costume, as the writers intended to put more focus on Spider-Man and save Black Panther's origin for his own movie. However, when it looked like Marvel would not be getting permission to use Spider-Man, Black Panther's role was beefed up significantly. By the time they did get to use Spider-Man, Chala had already become integral to the plot that they decided to leave his role as it is and give Spider-Man a smaller part. The finalists for the Spider-Man role did separate screen tests with Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. with the intent on seeing whose chemistry fit best with both Evans and Downey. The film coincides with the 75th anniversary of Captain America. 2016 also marks the 10th anniversary of the original Civil War comic book and Black Panther's 50th anniversary. The day before filming a fight scene with Robert Downey Jr., Sebastian Sands sent him a video of himself doing intense bicep curls in front of a decapitated head of the Iron Man suit. He attached a message, Looking forward for our scene tomorrow, Robert. In the film, the Falcon utilizes a Falcon drone called Red Wing. In the mainstream Marvel comics, Red Wing is an actual Falcon, which was Sam Wilson's sidekick. Robert Downey Jr. acted as the younger Tony Stark, along with John Slatery and Hope Davis. Lola FX provided the de-aging visual effects on the face and hair of Robert Downey Jr. with footage and photos of his early career as visual references. When the production of the film was wrapped up, Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie raced each other while in their superhero suits. Chris Evans revealed that he was hesitant to take the role of Captain America early on, but now considers it one of the best decisions he has ever made. Co-director Joe Russo said that the most powerful shot in the film was Steve Rogers stopping the helicopter from taking off with his bare hands. The shot was even featured in the first teaser trailer for the film. Rousseau said that Chris Evans worked very hard in the gym to physically embody the character because he wanted to test the limits of Steve's actual strength. Tony Stark remarks how attractive Aunt May is. Downey and Tomei actually had a relationship in 1990 and appeared in two other films together, Chaplin and Only You. One scene shows Ant-Man being boosted by an arrow from Hawkeye. This is taken directly from the comics, specifically The Avengers, number 223. Samuel L. Jackson was surprised to discover that Nick Fury would not be in the film after the Rousseau brothers told him that he was. Executive producer Nate Moore stated that Fury was not included because he didn't add anything to the Civil War story they were telling. Tom Holland was the youngest person to portray Spider-Man, Peter Parker, on screen at 19 years old. Spider-Man was very nearly removed from the film, as Sony Pictures originally rejected Marvel's proposal to allow them a cut of the profit if they could pull Spider-Man over but Sony Corporation expressed disappointment in the financial returns and the critical reception of the Amazing Spider-Man series and decided to negotiate the deal again. Chadwick Boseman underwent a vigorous training program to get into fighting shape for the character. While admittedly not a big reader of comics as a kid, Boseman read as many comics as possible for anything Black Panther related. Bozeman also visited South Africa to better incorporate cultural aspects of the country into his role. Thank you for reaching the end of this video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any suggestions of what we should cover next, please comment below.